WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny but very cool Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. The Dow's down 27. The S&P's off 2. The Nasdaq's up 3. Russell's up 7. Semis are down 9. Gold straighten out at 2043. That's up $7.60. Light sweet crude is up a buck 78. Silver's up 19 pennies. Natural gas off 23 cents. She's trading out at 247. And the 30 year Treasury up 21 ticks. Printing out at 120.07. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart, ES Mini upper left-hand side. It's basically made its way to that one-to-one -one small A to B equals CD. Price projection level, the actual number, 49.44.50. Uh, and the actual high from Friday was 49.34 and a quarter. So maybe we're looking at about another 10-point move, maybe more than that. What we're watching for, though, is a bearish reversal candle. If we saw one of those, that would confirm a sell the D point pattern. I also believe there's a Rhodes Momentum indicator signal, so you'd have two different tops. Now, what's interesting here, you got the S&P trading just slightly higher, as we mentioned, or maybe it was trading slightly lower, trading slightly lower. You do have that spot volatility just uh, trading above its 50-day exponential moving average. So watch that at day's end. The 50 days at 1361, the spot right now at 1394. Why watch it? Because a close above that 50-day moving average says we could see a little bit of a rug pull to the downside for the S&P 500. If we take a look at the NQ, it's got that new profile that formed on Friday. It's got a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. But the cool thing is now we've got a very key level of support. And that's down at 17,351.80. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, still struggling at that a bunch of descending trend lines. But it is trying to make its way above that area, which would then suggest to move up to 104.66. Lights, uh, uh, lights recruit. Uh, gold is uh, trading in between trend line support, trend line resistance. There's also a new profile that is formed. Support at 20. 3090 resistance at 2057.30. You've got uh, silver that's consolidated with inside its daily profile. It has native B equal CD to the downside. Price projection at 2134. Lights we crude uh, formed a TD9 count top on Friday. We talked about that. Uh, that would only be negated with the close of Friday's high. Friday's high was at 7826. What price should do is price should pull back 7548 being the first level to the downside. Maybe what price is going to do is get all the way down to that rising trend line natural gas uh, uh, targeting it's a td9 count uh, pattern from the trading session the swing point from december 13th and a close blow 2.098 negates that signal and you know what that says we still head lower with natural gas folks stay tuned for the trader zed show but if you have to start your monday have a magnificent one thanks for joining us we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon take care now <music>